Hey everyone, it's Kabir here. So let us start today's session with the operation on JSON object. As I have told in the previous video that we are going to perform some operations on the JSON object. As we understood what is an a JSON in the previous session. So let us recap what we have understood in a brief way. JSON, JSON is a data format which is used to exchange the data from one application to the another application. We have understood how the JSON object is declared, what is the syntax of it, what it contains. So let us today try some practical on it. So let's go to our Visual Studio code. So guys, just I want to give one suggestion to you. So just try to install Node.js software in your laptop. So in next video, I will tell you what software we required for the React.js and how we have to download and install it. So it's very easy. Just go in the Google and just search download the Node.js. You will get the link. Just go to link and according to your laptop configuration, just download it. And the download installation process is very easy. It's like this next, next and finish something like that. So let's start today's session about like uh, let me tell you first what we are going to do we are going to perform some CRUD operations on JSON object so what we will do we will first create one JSON object we will see how practically we are going to create a JSON object how we can insert some properties nothing but some data in that object then once we have inserted some properties then we are going to display that particular JSON object that will be fun point okay then next we are going to insert one new property then we will see using the code how can we insert one property inside that json object okay then we will see how can we update the existing property that's the second thing third thing we will try to delete one property from that json object and we will and fourth point like we'll try to understand how to retrieve a particular property from that JSON object. So these four operations like CRUD operations on JSON object. That what I can say. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. So just do one thing. Just create one folder in your any drive. DCB any drive. Okay. And once open that folder in your Visual Studio code. Just what you have to do. Just click on the file. Just go to open so folder. And just go to your uh, folder location. And just open it once you have opened it let's create one file that file should be javascript file so how i can create a file uh, i want to give the name like json.js cool i have given the json.js now the first thing i need to i want to construct a json object how to construct we already saw in previous session so let's create it where and I want to display the details of an employee. So I'm taking the object name as an employee. I took the employee equals to just open the curly braces and close. This is what we created in a JSON object. Simple. Now I want to insert some properties. Means I want to insert some details of this employee. So what details I will be taking? I will be taking ID of the employee, name of the employee and the location of the employee. I will take three properties. So how can we define uh, one property in which format it should be in key and value format. So for the representing ID, I will take the key as an ID. And as I told you in JSON format, the key must be string. That's why we took a string and next value. Now, how can we differentiate a key and a value using the colon? Okay, I have differentiated. Now I, I want to give actual data. So let's take 101. Cool. Now I want to add one more property. So how can I differentiate one property to the second property using the comma notation? Okay. Now I can add the second property. I want to add a name. So take a name. The name. So what will be the name of the employee? Let's consider Kabir. Then I have took the Kabir. Now just give the comma. Just enter it. Now I want to take one more property that would be the location. So just LOC, I will be taking the key as LOC, just colon 
and location would be Mumbai. Cool. Now we have constructed one JSON object. Now I want to display this object. How, how we can display something in our console in JavaScript using a predefined function function called console dot log. Cool. Now just try which object you want to display employee. So just employee. Just save it. Cool. Now you want to execute this JavaScript file. How can we execute? Just go to this nav bar and just click on this terminal. Just go to new terminal. Once you came to new terminal. So if you want to execute any JavaScript file, we have one command and that command is nothing but node and your file name. My file name is JSON. Just enter. But this command will work if you are uh, if node software is installed in your system so that's why i told you just install that node software first of all then just you can practice like this just enter now see now we are able to see the object what we have created id name and location with this is what the json object now let's try to insert one more property i want to insert email id so let's create let's insert an email id so how can we do insertion in a json object to do insertion first we have to understand in which object i want to insert in which object we want to insert in employee so write the object name employee now we have to take give one operator that operator is dot operator now what you want to insert a property right now what property contains a key and a value so you have to give a key. So I am giving a key like email. Cool. Equals to now he equals to you have to give the value. So I'm going to I'm giving the value like Kabir at the rate gmail.com. Cool. Now let's print the uh, JSON employee, JSON object, and let's see whether it is inserted or not. So just to you know, like make it a proper way, I'm just writing some statements just console.log and it's a one time next time we'll do copy paste this okay now what we are doing we are inserting like console.log that's something but insert a property inside the object employee okay now we, we need to print the object how console dot log and just name of that object employee and just save it and just go to your terminal and execute it yes we have added the email so you, you can see the email property has added so successfully we did we did the insertion now i want to update what I want to update, I want to update um, location from Mumbai to Pune. How can I update? This, the same way. See, the update and insertion syntax is the same. But what is the difference is that in your object, if you want to insert something, you have to give the key, right? If that particular key already exists in that object, then it will perform updation. If that key is not present in your object, then it will perform the insertion. In, in the line number nine, just see we are going, we are uh, like in, inserting one property known as email. So do we have the email here? We don't have the email. So it performed insertion. Now I want the updation. So what I have to do? Just in which object we have to do updation? Employee. So first take employee. Okay, two. Now, which property you want to update? I want to update location. So just LOC. Now, LOC is already present in employee. So it will not do insertion. It will do updation. So just we'll check from here to just I'm going to tell it Hyderabad. Okay. Now the same thing. Just copy paste. We have to copy paste here. And we will do like update a property update a property okay just send colon just save the file and just go to your terminal node your file name enter 
now if you see location has changed from mumbai to hyderabad so we have performed two things insertion and updation now let us see how to perform a deletion means now in our object i have four properties id name location and email now i want to delete email how can we do how can we do that one to do deletion we have to follow some different syntax what first we have to give delete keyword okay now now which object you want to like which property you want to delete you have to understand and in which object it is present so first you have to write the object name okay i want to do deletion on this object employee object okay root now which property you want to delete email okay write the email that's it and just go to your console and just let's print the output and let's see whether it is deleted or not so just i'm going here and just delete operation okay just save the program just go to your terminal and just node and just file name yes id name and your location is there email is deleted this is how we are going to perform the deletion operation now i want to retrieve not whole object i want to retrieve any one property within the employee object i want to retrieve name property how can i retrieve so for that what you have to do is that nothing you have to give which object first of all you have to understand which object i want in employee object i want to retrieve something in employee object you have so many properties now which property name property so just employee dot name so enter employee dot name so retrieving retrieve a property then now you are not employee here we have to give it employee dot which property you want to retrieve i want to retrieve name so you should able to see kabir in your terminal so let's go there yeah we are able to see the kabir now in this session we have performed crud operations on json object see json object is very important in react js you have to understand because the concepts like state props in your react js will be related to this one so the concept will be same slight difference will be there apart from that the same thing we will be doing there so that's why this json concept is very very important so thank you for this session bye